bro. Just in time. No, oh, you just did. You just did. Oi, that was a very busy week. We did good. Hey, Jai, yeah. we need to have a talk. About what? We gotta get more fish, bro. Okay. So, I made a whole list there of fish that we can get. What do you think? Should we show them all the fish that we have in stock or want to do a tour? How's it going? you show them what we have in stock? Bro, go, just, just, I'm going to have to like yeah. take care of him after work. Well, Not that way. Okay. Like, fire away. Oh. Go, bro, go. Guys, if you have any questions, let us know. We are trying to see how much space we have for new shipments that are coming in. Meanwhile, we have a trip going to Florida uh, at the end of this month for an event. And um, we got to do Paul's filtration. And also, uh, I'm planning a uh, secret Brazil trip in June without my wife knowing, because if she knows, then she'll cancel the trip. But I figure I'll just do this live for you guys to see all the fish that we have in stock live. This way we can't hide anything from you all. So let me know if you wanna see anything. This guy, I'm surprised is still here. I wish I had a tank, honestly. The colors of this, this bike is like no other I've seen before. Um, a lot of times I, I debate about like, oh man, we should just keep him because he does look just like the pictures. So his colors are like that, even on a plain tank. Imagine in a fully set up tank. Bro, go to work, bro, go to work. When is the next video? We're uh, working. It's, it's hard to do videos because like, there's not much going on right now. Um, so it's hard for us to get a bunch of different videos. House tank, believe it or not, tank is doing much better. Look, he actually, this is Sugar's bed, so he got on her bed. And um, I got him on a new medicine, and he's been, he's been doing a lot better, right, big boy? So, well, let's see. What fish are you trying to see? We set up these, actually, Kevin set up these six tanks over here to pick up more rays. We got a lot going on. We have some heaters in. The roof is insulated. It's nice and warm in here. Off the deep end aquatics. Can I see my old phantom, bro? Here. It's either this one or that one. I think it might be that one. And the platinum. The platinum is all the way, all the way back there. I can't wait to grow these guys out. Big Mama is actually doing really good. I got a video of her the other day. It's hard to see, that's why I never posted. But she, she's almost double her size already. Daniel H, that's great about Tank. I lost my dog 18 years early December. Sorry to hear that, man. Trust me, there's days where <clears throat> I think it's better if I just put him down better for him. You know, when, when he has these weird seizures. But with the new medicine, he's been doing a lot better. He hasn't had a seizure in a while. So he's recovering slowly. We got this beautiful golden bear Mundi. See, I'm trying to see if we can get the 800 in here to put these two guys in. Look at this guy. He's so yellow, that's crazy. Really cool fish. We got some nice big size golden sunshine. Rod, can you flip your phone? What, you wanna see me, bro? And that costs money, you know what I'm saying? It costs money to see that type of stuff. I'll flip it back the other way. Let's see. Are you, keep, are you keeping the goonch? Yeah, that was a gift from our, our partner. I gotta keep them. These two Arapaimas are the ones that we got at Jerry's place. We're keeping them as well, but I should have some bigger Arapaimas coming in. If you guys are interested on bigger ones, just shoot me a message. 
Greetings for Germany. Nova Space, Germany. Man, I want to go to Germany. I want to see what's in there. What type of fish you guys have there. But we do have this big goonch here. That he eats like crazy as well. And we got pretty much three of them. One here, one there, one in each corner. And some piraibas. These are real piraibas. They're not the Copa Petrum. They came from Brazil. They're doing great. They're eating shrimp. Pretty much jumping on food. Now, <clears throat> we got a group of flower horns. Let me turn the light on. And they, when they come in after a long trip, sometimes they head shrink. And it takes a little bit of uh, TLC to uh, bring them back. But look at some of these guys. Like, I, We got to keep them in cages because otherwise they'll attack each other. That guy is almost there. Their heads are starting to come back around. But the colors on these dudes are beautiful. Come here, buddy. There's another one here. The whole hat is wrapped up with markings. Really pretty fish. I think that, uh, look at that. There's that one. And I think this one here is really nice too. Look at this guy. Let me see if I can Look how beautiful this is. Yo, Kev, yeah. come check this guy out real quick. Hurry, hurry. Look how look how beautiful this fish is, bro. It's really nice. Right? But it wasn't like that like a few days back. Yeah, well, like I said, after coming out of shipping, they're not showing their best stress. They fade, their head loses a little bit, but after you get them in the tank for a little bit, but we've had them here for about two weeks now, I think, and yeah. they're starting to come back. So it takes time. I mean, we saw photos of every single fish before we brought them in here. So we know what the potential of it is. Oh, I, I think it's locked. I can't turn. Yeah. Yeah, it's locked. Sorry, I can't turn. I started the live up. Look at this one. You know, and others are coming back faster. To be fair, we, you know, we can show them the other one also. I think this one is actually sold, right? Yeah, this one's sold. It's the one that's taking the longest. This was the best one out of the group. And we're just waiting for the head to come back before we send it to the customer. But it's already sold. Yeah, that one was one of the nicest ones. But, dude, it, I'm surprised at this guy. How so these other ones look better than right. when we chose them in the photos. Yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The head is fully marked. Rod, can you ship to Canada? Roberto, yes, we can. Um, it depends on where you are in Canada. But when you go to the website, you can uh, choose the option to deliver to Canada. And um, once you put your address in there, it will connect to UPS and give you the correct shipping costs. <clears throat> now, there's a group of fish here that I want to show you guys that I like it a lot. I like this pike a lot. Really pretty. Oh, very active. Like, he tries to get my fingers every time. Eating well. He's got, a, like, a nice red throat. Beautiful colors. But these guys right here, I like them a lot as well. These are uh, yellow tail blue loaches. And they're pretty big as well. Slim Delgado. Can I buy and pick up? Yes, you can buy it online and choose store pickup. And uh, we'll set up a time for you to come by and pick it up. These guys have a lot and really pretty colors as well. Red pike. <clears throat> Rod, can you get black piranhas? Unfortunately, piranhas are banned in New York. I think they're allowed in New Jersey, but not in New York. So I can't get them. Can you get blue ring octopus? I, I mean, we definitely want to, but right now we're focused on, no, lift it up no, again. No, 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 no. I want to no, see no. something then. Stingray content is on my channel. But you're, you're, you're slacking, bro. Well, we started. 
Yeah, Look at that. Go. So this is gonna be some of the breeders. Did you move any any of the males here yet or no? Not yet. I just wanted to give the cycle a chance to catch up before I dump them on. So okay. Week. Next week. <clears throat> and then right now what we have to do is take this entire system down to do exactly what we did here. Get all these pipes and everything organized so it's an easy drain, easy fill. It's a lot of work, a lot of work for sure. Do you still have the puffers from before Christmas? Well, puffers we have the green avocados. We got some bigger ones and some smaller ones. And then we got these crazy ones here that are pretty neat. This, these dudes are super aggressive. I think, yeah, they actually bit his finger one day when he was doing a water change. Ugh. And then these guys right here, the, the hairy puffers. Look at that. They're pretty aggressive as well. So, yeah, we have a few types of puffer and the hump head in the back. When you're going to build a big tank for your big monsters. Uh, that's like... Trust me, if I could, I would do it right away. But we have a lot of work to do. Um, we're going through a process with the town to uh, open up and do different things. So that's not like a priority right now. But believe me, once we uh, have all the permits that we need, I definitely want to get my monster fish back. VZ Kids, shout out from Florida. The state misses you, man. Thanks, <laughs> bro. How you been? How's the fish? Could show us Emmanuel. Hey, Rod, can you show us Plecos by any chance? Plecos. I think we sold out on a lot of Plecos. Right now we have the Sunshines, the Gold Vampires, some para, uh, Papa Plecos, some Para Plecos. But all the green phantom, all the blue phantom, all that is gone. I think we have the big L24 that we're probably going to end up keeping. It's L25. But I think that's it for Plek. There's not much left. Look at this. That's how people work these days. Huh. Love this guy too. Beautiful fish. Any word on Nestor? Um, who said that? Wait, where's the message? Masood, any word on Nestor? Last time I spoke to him, he said he was going to start treatment in January. So hopefully he started treatment. Uh, we reached the, the GoFund limit that we wanted for him. So we're going to go ahead pull that money out and try to set up a time to go over there and deliver it to him. How are your rare catfish going? I think they're, oh, we got these speckles as well. We have a whole group of them, the blue panakis, and then these guys. Lince. We have three lins left. Little guys, but they're eating well. Albino arrows. But the rare catfish that we have right now would be this guy, the golden goonch. Roberto said, hey Rod, something for the unboxing videos would be cool to know how big a fish can get when you're presenting them. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Um, just sometimes fish, they will get different sizes depending on, you know, the place they live. But like in the wild, obviously they'll get a lot bigger. Somebody asked about the puffer. It's crazy because she has been doing that. But when I go next to the tank, she would turn back to normal. She'll, she'll eat shrimp. I want to actually find her. 
a uh, a place that can take her. Can you keep your laptop like that? So somebody can rescue her because we took her in, we medicated her, we fed her, but I feel bad that she's in this little tank. I wanted her to, to enjoy her life, hopefully in a much bigger setup. So if you know anybody or, or a zoo or a, an aquarium that would be willing to take her, I would even drive her over there. Do you guys got any guards in now? We're plenty of uh, shipment of guards soon. How's the rig? I just I just talk about the puffer. Somebody just asked. Did we get any Pyaras? So Pyaras, they uh the the armadas they were banned to leaving Colombia for a little bit, um, probably to rebuild the population. So we're trying to get some now, but. If there's any available, they're probably gonna be at a, at a larger size. <clears throat> I got a 300 acrylic, I can put that puffer in. I really wanna like, like a big, big pond. This is a big puffer fish. She needs to go to like a, an aquarium or a zoo. Wait, was that Josh? I know these guys in Ohio with lots, lots of connections can find her. Yo, Josh, what's up, brother? Yeah, bro, if you if you know a place that can take her, I'll ship it to you, and, you you know, we can do a whole video uh, while you guys are receiving her and bringing her to her final destination. I think... I, There's is, coyotes in here. Is Eddie drunk? I don't I think know. Eddie's drunk. Is this your business or your boys? Just like to know. What does that mean? It's my business. Is this your business or your boys? Just like, which boys? I'm your girl. <laughs> yeah, I have boys. What's good, brother? Columbus, Ohio, checking in. Bruce, what's up, buddy? Hey, you wanna come here or no? Man, this guy, bro, tells hey, let's do a live, let's do a live, and disappears. I would like to see the Arapaima, and I just sat down. He's showing up for the video. Eddie? Yeah, yeah I wish you worked happy like that every day. Yeah. I forgot, what's the next baby you're having, a boy or a girl? What is it? Uh, Romano, so that's right. Boy. Boy. It's a boy. I really wanted a girl, but maybe it was for the best. How are you liking out there so far? I mean, we do, we don't really do much, right? Dude, we just work, yeah. Yeah, I mean, think the difference between here and Florida was definitely the weather. And over there, we uh, we had more freedom because we didn't have really kids yet, family, and you know we we're able to go to the gym and enjoy a little bit. But it's been just straight work here with this man. It's tough when you're starting back from scratch. It's a lot of things that needs to be done. You know, like Oi, he's always yelling at him to get things done, right, Oi? Huh? You yeah. always yelling at Fajai to get things done. Yeah. See. So what do you think, bro? You miss LA? Huh? You miss LA? Mm. Get in here. Look. I never asked you that. Not so much. No? Not anymore. What do you miss yeah. the most about LA? The weather or the scenery? It's just like I'm so used to everything there. Yeah, you were you know, so it's a like relearning everything. You know, your favorite spots, where to go, do stuff like that. Those little things, you know. That's the kind of thing I'm missing. Chinese buffet, all the good stuff. The yeah. Brazilian steakhouse used to go is really yeah. nice. The food, but I, I'm gaining too much weight here already. Oh, somebody said the traffic. Yeah, the traffic is not fun. I mean, we're not always it's on traffic. No, it's bad traffic here too. Worse, right? Is it? <clears throat> what do you think? How do you know? You didn't live there. Yeah, we, we visited him. We talk about traffic. I know. New York traffic, traffic, traffic is ten is times bad. worse. Yeah. You ship the Dominican Republic. 
Um, we can ship to anywhere. I need a broker, right? It just it has to make sense for you guys. You know, if you, are you buying a whole shipment or just one or two fish? Because the freight's going to end up being a lot of money. Yeah. Oh, Tank Life Pearl. They moved to uh, L.A. So oh, what yeah? do you recommend yeah. around L.A.? It depends where in L.A. Where in L.A. did you guys move to? So what are we going to Florida for, dude? You want to tell them? Um, yeah. We're, we've donated two stingrays to um, a school in Orlando. Um, the school is called the Audubon Park School. And uh, they set up a tank for stingrays. So we're donating two stingrays to them. And then we're going to be teaching all the kids there on, you know, how to take care of the rays. That's basically it. They're running like, running like an assembly, right? Like it's cool yeah, we're going to show yeah. them how to care for animals and talk about things like that. I think that's pretty cool. It was nice of you yeah, to donate. Yeah, I, I got to sit down and get my, uh, my, my, my points together what to talk about. <laughs> if a stingray is missing a big piece of their disc... Will it grow back? It really depends on how severe it is. Uh, it can grow back to some extent, but not everything if a lot of it's missing out. And the color went not the same, right? Yeah, but they'll lose the pattern there. Cara Vale said, Pedro Defense, do you accept volunteers? I think right now, just because we're still in the beginning setup, it's tough because we're not, you know, we're always running around doing different things. It's not like stable. But maybe in the future, we can look into program where we can yeah. do things like that well it depends what 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 are they trying to get out of the uh, volunteer you know are they trying to build up some kind of school experience you know work experience or they just want to help because they want to hang out with you <laughs> tiago said your dog doing better tank i believe tank is doing much better with the new medicine hopefully he'll keep up even eddie said that uh when he comes in here now he looks a lot more alert with no seizures. Uh, Yo mama. Hey Rod. I have a koi keeper. I don't have any kois right now. But I do know people that sell kois. So if you're interested in kois. We can rearrange that for you. When are you going to open a shop in Europe? In Europe? Yeah. We need a partner there. Right? We need to go to Dubai first. Yeah. Imagine. In one in each country. That would be sweet. Any saltwater fish available? Not at the moment. We still, the situation right now is we're going to add more power to the building. We already talked to the electrician, but it's not an easy, fast process, correct? No. I'll be right back. I'm still draining. <clears throat> come to Boston. I used to live in Worcester, Mass. I don't really miss that much. Mark Price, I'll be a partner with you in the UK. That would be cool, man. That would be cool. We definitely, I like, one of the things that we really want to do is once we have this place here set up, is to start traveling, you know, and um, visiting different countries and different types of fish, filming different oh. things. It's tough when we have kids, but, um, Maybe I'll just go and leave Lisa here by herself with the two kids. What do you think? This sounds great. Will you ever get alligator guard? We had a lot of them recently, um, about four or five inches. But we'll try to get more soon. When are you guys going to come to the Amazon fishing trip? I'm planning on doing one in June. Just want to say hello, love the channel. Oh, thank you, Mark. Mark Miller. How hard is to acclimate a juvenile for Haka? It shouldn't be hard. I mean, sometimes with shipping, things can get off hand. But uh, they're pretty stable and pretty strong fish as well. Brad Higgins. Rod, I will open up a shop in the UK. Would love to be in partnership with you. I mean, that's definitely something we could discuss. I would love to go up there and, you know, explore new things. But right now, like, believe it or not, all our funds are stuck here. Maybe this this place costs a lot of money um, for the building, 
for the permits, for the for taxes. It's, it's a lot. And then setting everything up and buying, you know, bulkheads. Jesus, bulk, bulkheads cost a lot of money when you're buying a few hundred of them, you know. So everything costs money here. It's going to take us a while for us to get back on our feet to the point where we can invest on something else. Do you regret leaving Florida? I don't regret because it was the best decision for the business. I mean, I do miss my family, my friends, and uh, the weather, my old life. Um, I feel like here, I feel like here it's easier for you to let yourself go because it's so cold. And Ask him if he's got a brain. <clears throat> what do you think, babe? What do you think is... Do you miss Florida? Say it. What do you miss about Florida? I mean, I don't really care about the weather as much. Look here, the camera's here. You're always tired lately. I think that I miss certain parts of Florida, but also I miss the weather. So you're a 50 50? Oi, do you miss LA more? Or you're so, you're, what do you think? You miss LA more? You, could, you would go back if you could? <gasps> we, can't, we can't lose Oi. We can't lose. Okay. We're stuck together now. Because remember, when I, when I go to Brazil for business, you, you and yeah. this one here are going to have to take care of uh, the shop, you know? Maybe he can help you too. Yeah, of course. Okay. We got to do business, right? We got to. We're not responsible for the way things are when you come back. That's all I got to say. <laughs> no, Eddie's responsible for that. Can you ship Paco to Dominican Republic? So we can ship to other countries, but the problem is that you can't just do one fish because. Your cost, your, hey, Ali's calling you. Your import cost is going to be a lot of money, so it's not worth it. You have to do a whole shipment. Jeremiah James, how did you guys get into the fish business? Did you guys start as a regular hobbyist at first, and did your wife like fish keeping from the start? No, she didn't even know anything about fish keeping. You never had a fish tank, right? Um, no, not really. It was... Uh, it was, I always love fish. Like when I'm, when I was in Brazil, I lived in a place like, like Key West, always on the beach, always on the ocean. So I never really ate fish, but I always enjoyed it. And um, when we had the moving company, I had a 300 gallon tank. And I remember I had a silver iguana, I had some other fish, some other fish that gets really big, but I didn't have the rice to <laughs> And uh, at that point, at that point, we lived. Um, the moving company was was getting really busy, and I made a, a, an apartment at the warehouse that we had, and we lived there. And so we're always working, and sometimes Lisa would go to sleep, and I would just start messaging suppliers all over the world, trying to uh, find out, you know, how to import my own fish because. They cost a lot of money. <clears throat> so I used to get fish and then sell the rest. And that's how it started. But I think my very first fish that I sold was a, a clown knife that I caught in Florida with a friend of mine, a friend, really good friend of mine named Brandon. We went fishing on his boat and I brought it back to the shop. I was so happy because it was like almost 30 inches. And I put it in my tank and somebody came in into the warehouse to look for storage space and they, uh, the guy fell in love with it. He's like, I want to buy it. I said, I'm not selling it, you know. And then he said, I'll give you 400 bucks. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> so, so that's how we started with uh, selling fish. The big rescue puffer is doing good. She's been acting a little weird. Like she likes to hang out like this. But then when I put food in the tank, I got to put it right on her face and she swims back down normal. But... I, I, like I said, I, I think she's bored, you know, in that little tank. She needs to be something a lot bigger. 
to uh, start enjoying her life again. <clears throat> Killer Bunny, do you have Killer Bunny? <laughs> do you have a plan on stock and acquiring products in the future? Yeah, that's definitely a plan that we that we have to grow. You know, the business, the brand, start doing different things, not just fish. Because believe it or not, that big head over there, he knows a lot. He knows a lot. He taught me a lot. He's been doing this for a lot longer than than I have. Um, so medicine, everything. Everything will be something that we'd like to do in the future. Playmaker, what's the best way to treat internal parasites? I like to use metronzol to help with that. Even Martinez, when is the shop gonna be open to the public? Can't wait to come check it out. It's a long process, you know, it's a big building. There's a lot of work to be done. So once we pass all the inspections and we pass the approval and we get all the permits that the town is requiring, then we have to do our part here, set everything up and open up to the public. So right now you're able to order online and choose store pickup and we have it ready for you. But I say hopefully summer, if not summer, fall, if not fall, then winter, but hopefully sooner than later, because the sooner we can get this place done and the more, more we can progress. I feel like sometimes we're like stuck. Right? Do you feel that way too? You hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. <clears throat> Tiago, what's the most thing that you miss about Brazil? So I left when I was really young. I don't remember much. That's not true. I really don't. You were like 14. I have short memory. That's 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 uh, the food, the no. Beach, the you know world. what I miss? I miss that life took so long. Like, like I tell Lisa all the time, the days here go by so fast. That's a kid thing. Well, it is, but it's not. Because there, like I always said, the difference between people there or maybe other countries as well is over there they have to work to live, right? Over here you live to work. So it's, it's two different things. And when you live to work, you don't enjoy your life. It just passes. It's a different mindset. Yeah, over there, like, they're happy with the little money they make, but they enjoy their life. Like, they have barbecues every weekend. They're, you know, hanging out. They're doing different things. I feel like here, you're so worried about making money and catching up and living the American dream and buying a house and all this stuff that you just work, 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 that when you open your eyes, the time just passed, you know? So sometimes I do, you know, say, you know what? I just want to say screw everything I'm going to go to the jungle live like Tarzan let it all hang out swing on the ropes with my wife and my kids and uh, live life <laughs> Gilberto said I don't know about that I have way better quality of life in the in the Canada, in Meta Canada, I was overworking in Brazil. I mean, yes, you don't make money there. That's for sure. If if you live there, it's it's like I feel like people just they were happy. Even when I went to the Amazon, they were happy with just what they had. You know, obviously you always want to have more, and you work for that. But Brazil, it'll be a nice place to live if you have money. You just didn't have to worry about you know work overworking yourself because definitely you don't get paid well there. I think, I, I, I don't remember if you I'm saying this right, but I think a cop makes like $300 a month or some, some ridiculous. You know, it's not even worth it. Like, risk your life for that type of money. Do you know if you have Jaguar catfish back in stock soon? So Jaguars, they, they look different from different countries. We're trying to get um, them from Brazil where their colors are nicer, but they're not always available. So we're waiting to see. <clears throat> What's the next plan on breeding side of things? So we're doing the, the stingrays, um, but we need to add more power first so we can set up more tanks. 
and everything's you know in the process like the the power is probably going to be like forty five thousand dollars just to add more powers into the building so it's a it's a process everything's a process ray burn the lifestyle of new zealand suits me fine there's nice work and life balance here yeah see sometimes i i just want to do that i just want to say let's travel and enjoy each country and experience life because in the, in, in the long run all the money you make you're not taking with you you know so you might as well just enjoy you know i have your wife yelling at you every day and screaming that the socks are everywhere your That's it. rarest fish you own rarest my child <laughs> uh, I like the yellow gar the gold goonch I had the, the white fly river turtle that was pretty rare I think that was my top one but we can get all that stuff again it's just we're not ready there's no point you know once we have the display and all that set up then it's worth it you know, get in it, but not to, to put in a little tank. Susan, Susan, I see your picture all the time when you comment on the videos. Thank you. Um, do you deliver to Canada? We do. So when you go to the website, you can choose, you know, deliver it to Canada, put your address, and then UPS will give you the correct shipping costs. Some areas take two days. Some areas, at least you're saying, takes two days, and you might not, it might not be safe. So you will see when, when you go to the website. Whips World. Rodrigo, what's your opinion on the best 8 to 12 Central American catfish in the hobby? 8 to 12. They will stay that size. I don't know. I, majority of the stuff that I, that I know that I like is fish that gets big. Um, I feel like the Raphael catfish is they're good looking and they don't they don't move much that's the only problem the Pimodellas we, Pimodellas we should have sold some yesterday they're a nice catfish too they don't get big but me like if you ask me what I my favorite is it's the ones that get really big you know like the Peroon Sharks uh, the Red Tail the Jowls the Pira Eva top top of the list for me Lynn's catfish, always on top. So there's a lot of catfish, but for smaller tank, I'm probably not the, the right guy to, uh, to give you the best answer. Tiago, when are you going to Paul's Kofaro Place? So we're going to be there at the end of the month, the 23rd at night. I'm going to be at this place, and I'll probably just come back on the 25th. <clears throat> Serious fish keeper. When are you gonna put a mop on your head and get big rich price back for the chicken neck video? Uh, I forgive him. He's okay. He's got he's got credit. So I'm curious. You're talking to these people. Uh -huh. It's a work day. I got uh, 360 people watching. I must be like. You gonna get these people fired? Don't they have to work? No. Some sometimes <laughs> they have good life and they don't they don't need to work. Okay. You know, it's like. It's like uh, when we were young and dumb and we didn't have any bills to pay. Uh -huh. Don't you miss that time? I miss, I miss not having to like, like I feel like the days go by so fast. I feel like we're running out of time. That's the problem too. That's the problem. I hate that. Like you work so hard and you're like, oh, it's crap. I'm old as crap. I can't do anything. The clock keeps ticking. But now that they're here, right? So, what type of videos would you guys want to see? Because I always bother this man. Rod, like, go work. We can talk to Kevin. Oh yeah? Okay, no, that's okay. okay. He likes to talk. He's the chatter. See, Susan is retired. She just sold the retirement home. Congratulations! I want to get there uh -huh. one day. Yeah. I already worked my shift. Hi, Kevin. Yeah. Well, I'm just taking a little break right now, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not going to be around long. If you got questions, just let me know. No, sit down, bro. Take a breath. Take a breath? Yeah. Okay. How is Kevin? So beautiful. Oh, or somebody said Kevin's so beautiful. Yeah. They like this head that you make fun of all the time. <laughs> I love that head, bro. Yeah. It's so smart. 
What fish do you guys want? Like, if you're, if you had to buy a fish, what fish would you want? Come to Belize. That's that's in Europe, right? Spain, right? Belize. Belize is uh, South America, I think. No. Yeah. Belém is America. South America. Central America. Belize. Belize. Central okay. America. Can we see Nestor's fish? We shipped them all out. We might have. We kept some of the big pacos and the big arowanas. We all love your head. Thank you. <laughs> Lemon Oscars, flower horns. Flower horns, you gotta take advantage. There's some really, really nice ones in it right now. Belize is south of Mexico. I see. Okay. What is the nickname you always call Kevin? Fajai. <laughs> you wanna tell him what Fajai is? Fajai means fat boy. <laughs> uh, you talk to him, I gotta answer the phone. Bretoy Fins. Does Big Head know any type of ray? Oh, these messages fade so fast. When did you order? Columbia. We're working on Columbia right now. So it should be soon. Hopefully in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. A program with Kevin surviving the Amazon. Well, you will I think see we're going to be on the in the Amazon we'll your address we'll call uh, quite for soon. You. So you'll see that series All of right. videos coming. No problem. Right. What's my favorite fish other than stingray? It's hard to say. I don't really have a favorite. I just like all fish. Anything that looks good, I like it. Four Mile Lagoon. That sounds nice. When will you order fish from Ecuador? The problem is Ecuador doesn't have that much fish that interests us. Um, there's a lot of, you know, uh, what we call bread and butter fish. Another problem too is a lot of those countries, they request money up front and then you pay them and that's it, right? How many stories we heard of like even Peru where people send money, I, that happened to me. Mm -hmm. And a few months later, those guys go missing because people are sending people there to cut them, you know, for stealing their money. Brandon, you two make a cute... Oh, man. We make a cute couple, bro. Okay. So we'll make good babies? <laughs> yeah. What, all right, so what's, what's the best 8 to 12 inch Central American catfish? Oh, that's that's a question for you. I don't really you know get in there, bro? catfish. Get in there. You want to see a big head? Uh... When are we gonna get pandas? We're trying to work on new orders right now. Beginning of the year is always tough. So hopefully soon, hopefully fish will be available now. Black dragon pleco, jelly catfish. I like some Peroon sharks. The process you guys go through packing our orders. Imagine if we did that video, Eric. Eric Martinez said, videos I like to see, is the process of you guys packing. There's a couple of secrets that we like to keep, you know, how we pack our fish, especially when it's super cold out. But on Christmas, or I think we had like 100 boxes in one day. That would be so difficult to... Well, to, we would uh, have to pick a day that's not super busy that we can kind of film it. Um, I, think, I think it's doable. It's doable. Um, may not be super entertaining, but I think it'll be... Uh, Education. Somebody said rotate your phone. It doesn't allow us because we already started the live like this. So we can't we can't rotate. Oh sorry. There you go. Get a better angle. Just gotta get farther from the camera, you know? Yeah, then we gotta talk louder. That's <laughs> alright. So when uh you think when uh, there was a question that was asking that we should go back to Asia and film all the fish and things like that. That's all in the works. It's all in the works. It's just being able to get away from here. Because now there's so many things uh, going on here. When do you think you're going to have all your rays back? Um, there's only one more stop. After that, that's pretty much whatever survived the journey will be here. Uh... Beautiful catfish called Baca. Belize. Man, there's so many fish out there that we probably don't even know about. Right? Yeah. Even going overseas, like, you see so much crazy stuff that you don't see every day. 
Ni hao, Fei Jai. <laughs> that means how are you, Fei yeah. Jai? Uh -huh. What's the cost of electric trying to keep that place warm? Uh, the, the heaters are gas, yeah. so it helps. But uh, our electric bill, I would say, is probably around two grand a month. And that's not everything running. That's, that's just the part of the back part of the warehouse. Would you do fish care videos? Yeah, yeah, we can do fish care videos. Um, Once we're more set up, it will be easier to do all types of videos. Uh, yeah, I think the plan was when I get my channel uh, going again, I'll do a lot more educational stuff. So I'll help you guys in the hobby. So if you have topics or questions you want answered, you know, you let us know and then we can work on making videos on that. What's the plan for the mega tank? It's gonna be a little bit, right? For, for us to be able to, to get that going. Mm -hmm. Will you get the salt water pond? Would definitely love to have another salt water tank set up, but we gotta get more power in first and, and then have more time to go, start spinning towards the front. What's that? Dai? Dai low. What is that? Means big boss. <laughs> so instead of being Fei Jai, it should be Dai Lo. Dai Lo. Oi, you heard that? You know what's messed up? Oi calls Rodrigo Dai Lo. She doesn't call me Dai Lo. What? She call, you call me Dai Lo, but you call him Fei Jai. You know who Dai Lo is? Dai Lo. Mm -hmm. Dai Lo is brother. Big boss. Big boss. Big boss. Uh, well, same thing. It could be big brother too. Christopher, I got a spider Kelberry from you guys and now he just stopped eating. So he was eating fine and then he stopped. What were you feeding him? Would love to take you guys bass fishing on the Hudson. I, you know, fishing, fishing is fun for me if it's like stuff that you don't see every day. You know, like going, going to the Amazon and catching, you don't know what you're gonna catch. But if you know you're going for bass fishing, I don't really enjoy that part. You enjoy stuff like that? Um, I think, I mean, fishing in general is fun. I think it's more fun when you're pulling stuff out of the water that, well, you could be putting in your fish tanks. And then you just like, oh my God, we just caught this fish for free and in a pet store and that fish is $200. <laughs> when I went to Hawaii, I bought this little rod and just on the beach, I were pulling out these uh, triggers, the, the clown triggers and all those like a few hundred dollars each yeah and they're all right there and i'm telling my dad like holy cow you know this is a 200 dollars fish this is a 200 dollars fish and we just keep catching it that it's, that made it fun it's crazy when you think like that yeah so if you go to the amazon <laughs> it's gonna blow your mind no i've been there you haven't yeah. been there right yeah no so hopefully in june we'll, we'll get that trip going he was eating fine and shrimp do you have rocks on your tank because sometimes if the food is on the bottom of the tank, peacocks will suck in the food and might, might swallow a couple of pebbles. That happened to me before. Brad Higgins, how's Tank doing? Tank is actually doing a lot better. Um, he hasn't had a seizure in a while, so hopefully with the new medicine, we'll be able to, to keep him getting better. Um, one day he had a seizure that was so bad that I, I was 99% gonna put him down the next day. So hopefully no more seizures, because it's hard to see him, him you know, suffering like that. Oh, look, your son's here. Fadi. Oh, really? Fadi, we need you to uh, drive up to Orlando, bro. You got to pick us up. Yep. Is the whole building going to be a shop? No. Just a part of the building in the front going to be a shop. The other part, we still don't know. It might be dedicated for Stingray breeding and wholesale or um, an exhibit, right? That would depend on you guys. Correct? Yeah. Bro, go to work, bro. Getting any wolf fish? We got some really small, right, like that big, like Big Jai's head. Uh, the red, red, wolf. red fin wolf. Yeah. Have you had any updates on Nestor? No, I actually have to re reach out to him. The last time I spoke to him was the end of December, and he said he was going to start treatment beginning of January. 
What's the best diet for angelfish? You should know that, bro. Black worms, right? A mixed diet. Pellet food, um, dry plankton, frozen blood worms. You know, just give it a mix. As with all fish, that's always good to give a mixed diet. What's the main thing someone should know before getting a stingray? What's the main thing someone should know before getting a stingray? Yeah, like to be prepared um, for. It's a lot of work. A stingray is a heavy bio load on your tank. So um, it may seem like it doesn't occupy a lot of space because it's just flat on the bottom, but uh, they, they do follow up your water pretty good. So you just have to make sure you have enough water volume or you can keep up with your water changes. My dream fish is an albino silver. Don't know if they exist. Think it'd be cool looking. And are you gonna keep an alligator, albino alligator golf for yourself? We have one growing that we capped. But yeah, albino silvers are really expensive, right? Yeah. Have you seen them in person? Uh, albino silvers? Yeah. So oh. Gar you were talking about gars, wasn't it? Oh, albino silvers, yeah. We have them here, they're not that expensive. But albino gar, yeah, we're keeping one. If you could relive one day from your past, which which one day and why? Dude, that's well, a that's tough question. Tough. Yeah. But I, I that the Amazon trip that I did, I would go back like any day. That was the best time I ever had. I'll buy no silver dollars. Michael, do you still hit in the gym, bro? That's talking to you, bro. Because I'm not hitting the gym. I've never hit the gym. <laughs> <laughs> One time I told him and said, hey, bro, I want to start getting you to work out. He goes, you see how big this place is? Me working out, me walking around here is a workout. Not the birth of your child. Haha. <laughs> I don't want to be in that room. <laughs> I was in that room and he, and he scarred me for, for a few months. It was a great moment, but uh, seeing certain things that you see in that, that time is a little. Right. Were you in the room? Yeah. You looked? No, I was on the I was on the right end. No, I I was you like on the wrong I end. was on the front row. I was like infantry. Shamu splash zone. <laughs> <laughs> Mark said it's scary, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is pretty scary. When, have you, did you see the placenta? No. Oh boy, it's like something out of the alien movie. <laughs> Would you be concerned setting up a hundred gallon on a third floor? Depends if your third floor is made out of wood or concrete. <laughs> it really depends where you're putting it. If you understand the structure of your house, you obviously want to put it against a foundation wall, not like a middle room wall, okay? And then if you know how the rafters run, you don't want to run the tank parallel with the rafters. You want it to run this way so it spread the load, then you should be okay. Michael Hens Henson, childbirth is like watching your favorite per pub burning down. <laughs> they can't rebuild it, but will never be the same. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good way to see it. <laughs> this live stream took a turn. Yeah, uh, if you haven't been there, it will. It's, uh, it's something only dads. I've experienced and I'm, I'm horrible at the hospital uh -huh. I can even just walk in the hospital the smell of the hospital I already get dizzy yeah. so I don't think I was myself that day okay this is a good one right here Chris Hoffman what's the fish that you sold and you regret wow there's been a few yeah there's been a few uh, off the top of my head, I, I don't recall. And he restocked some Pleco, Big Phil. We had a lot of them. We sold that one a lot. We got a few shipments coming in. We're trying to set up a lot for, for February. Saltwater fish. There's a lot of people asking about saltwater fish. So saltwater fish, we have to have the power to come in first and then we can start setting up more systems because they do need different things and more power for sure.
Albino Silver Dollars. Oh, I haven't seen those. Auto Geek said, any New York fishing trips? No, we haven't done any, not yet. any of that. Yeah. Just work. No time for fun yet. You seen the Pac-Man catfish? Yes, I actually have a breeder in Brazil that has, is breeding them, babies. But they're not anything special to me. Are they, what do you think about them? I mean, people like different things. So Definitely I'm not going to judge. Maybe we'll get a few. My favorite fish are goldfish and pleckles. Unfortunately, my state in Australia, we can have koi. But the shiburkis doesn't make sense to me. So you can have kois, but not shiburkis. That's Some laws is hard to understand. Well, it's like Florida. You can have silver arowanas, but you can have black arowanas. Yeah, yeah that doesn't make any sense either. What's the most expensive fish you ever sold? Oh, how about you? I never asked you that question. What's the most expensive ray you ever sold? Ray? I think it was like 20-something thousand, maybe. For one ray? One ray. Nice. But what's the, what's the value you paid for the most expensive ray? Is that what they asked? No, I'm asking you that. Oh, 100 grand plus. <laughs> for one. What happened to the big Arapaima tank you had in Florida? It's here, it's just cut up in pieces. Um, we thought about setting that up and maybe doing there a shark tank, but there's so much going on that that's not a priority right now. You know, we have so much other stuff that we gotta get it done. That's fine. <clears throat> Somebody was asking about a stingrays in a tank, a seven by two by two, what was that question? Cause he asked it twice. Best type of ray for seven by two by two. Um, seven two by two is an okay size tank and it'll last you a little bit, year, maybe two years, depending on how you take care of the fish. Um, but eventually it will need something bigger. Uh, sometimes you might get lucky and get like a ray that doesn't really grow very much. Then you can keep them longer. So it's really hit or miss. They're asking which fish you paid a hundred grand for. Uh, let's not talk about it. <laughs> You have her offsprings, though. Yeah, I have her offspring. Unfortunately, she passed away during the move. It was a big hit. I think I think he actually shared a tear on that one. Yeah. Um, but I'm it was the all the time. All buying up was money. Yeah. That was the only one at the time, right? Still the only one. Yeah. So he bought her when he was a little baby for a hundred grand. That's a that's a piranha. piranha, right? Yeah, we can't get those. Yeah, all we, champion tropical fish. We unfortunately can't get piranhas. I mean, I I can get all of them, but we can't import here in New York. I mean, we may be able to arrange to get it through you, but not through our hands. Like, we can refer you to somebody. So just send us a, an email or a message, and I'll I'll forward you the contact that we have. Would you say? That ray and the datnoid were the two biggest losses you ever had that like meant the most to you? Oh, she's talking about the fatnoid, the really, really mm -hmm. big datnoid. Yeah, I mean, look, th this move really set me back. There's no question about that. A lot of, you know, fish that I placed high value on, I, I, I did end up losing. So, uh, so I try not to dwell on it <clears throat> and just move forward, you know? Can't live on the past. I think Maya was there at Pimas. Yeah, but that was also part of the move, so. Well, one was in Florida and one was the move, but after caring for those fish for so many years and just to have them go like that, it's, it's definitely a, a setback, you know? It makes you not want to do it again sometimes. Yeah. <clears throat> How much is a Zantic Barramundi? What would you sell that Barramundi for? What? The one that we just shipped just out? Just send us a, no, that, that one that's in there. That one was in the, like around the yellow one, right? Yeah. Not the white one. Yeah. About five, six, wasn't it? Something like that. But send us an email and we'll, we'll work something out with you. Chris Hoffman. Rod, your friend who took Big Mama, how did he, uh, he do as far as the cold, as far as the cold front? So. I think at his place, he got down to the 50s. 
the talking about the red tail? Yeah, the catfish did great. It was the so he lost his over dollars for some reason, but the catfish, Dorados, everything else did fine. So Big Mama is uh, kicking. Is this YouTube or Instagram? This is YouTube. Like eight twelve. Five dollars. Oh, dude, five dollars, bro. You can buy Eddie lunch. Thank you, brother. Thank you. What's the best way to get a stubborn tiger shovel nose to eat? In my opinion, and okay, I'll say it, then you say it, your your way. I think any fish, when they're hungry, they'll eat. So if you keep trying frozen, eventually they'll eat. It's almost like training Ryan right now, because Ryan likes snacks and things like that, and I'm being hard on him on just eating, you know, chicken, protein, vegetables, rice. So he started doing it. But so. that's assuming we're talking about a healthy fish. If because most fish should eat. Um, you should be able to find what they eat, whether it's pellet food, frozen food, live food, they're gonna eat. But if they're not eating anything, then I would say you might have to do some uh, treatment for some type of internal parasite. Or, you know, that would be my, my go at it. So there it is. Is it, does the fish look healthy? Larry. Hope you guys doing well. Quick question, can you import fish to a buyer for another country? Thank you, Larry. Um, yes, we can ship all over the world, but to come out of the US, there's export fees, that's fish and wildlife fees. Some countries need a, a vet, right? Certificate, health certificate. a health certificate. And so it can it became very costly. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna export from here out, it has to be a shipment that makes sense for you guys. So yeah, if they're willing to pay for those fees, then yeah, of course, it's, it's doable. Yep. But you might buy a $100 fish and pay $500 in fees just to get it out. So Luis Morales said, can you ship stingrays to California? Unfortunately, no. They are prohibited there without a permit. Mark Price, did you ever find out who poisoned your tank in Florida? Nope. You guys work with trout. New York is perfect weather for them. Yeah, I, I I would like to get some golden trouts actually, but I heard that they don't live very long. So the light gate twelve said, yeah, he looks healthy. Just got him two weeks ago, and he hasn't eaten what he hasn't eaten yet. He was on pellets. I would try shrimp. I would try cut fish, frozen. You know, defrost it. But don't don't give him live if he's already, can, he was already on pellets. You can try doing a big water change because maybe the water that they were in and your tank is very different. So the fish has to adjust to that, and maybe it acclimated too quickly, so it's taking time. That could be a reason as well. Dara asked you a very interesting question. It's easier to maintain your target water quality based on your tap water in New York compared to California and Florida. I say yes. Let me understand that question a little. Maintain your target. Like what the water quality that you want. Is it easier to maintain here? I mean, in Florida, we have well, a problem with chlor chloramine. It depends on what your target is. Okay, in California, the water, the pH was high and the water's hard. So if you're trying to keep cichlids that need a higher pH, then uh, of course, California tap water is, is better for keeping your target. So it, it really varies. Well, you never had a problem with chloramine like Florida. No, that, that's different, yeah. But the problem uh, we have here in in New York is the Florida, uh, the Florida, the water is very soft. New York is very soft, the water. So if you don't do a water change for a few days, the pH can crash. Welcome to New York, guys. I'm itching to buy a ray from you guys. How soon will you guys be getting cheaper rays, probably larger than larger Mayo Motoro? In a couple of weeks. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's what I was talking about. We got some really neat rays coming in soon. Should we tell them what it is or no? No. No, all right. Well, I definitely want to keep some of them. Because I don't like to say. And, and then it doesn't come doesn't in? come, you know, just creates more problems. 
is there any other type of Aeropyma you want? If there's any, I want the platinum one. If they ever come albino or platinum, I want that fish. Jeremiah Williams, four ninety nine. Thanks, brother. I'll buy Ed in lunch today. Well, he doesn't deserve it. Um, how many rays can you fit in a fifteen hundred gallon? Twelve by six by four. Is that the size of that? No, that's bigger. Well, that's his tank will be taller. So gallon wise, it's about the same. Um, it comes down to your filtration, right? Well, yeah, your filtration. Water change. How many other fish are you gonna have in there as well? Or is it only rays? Are you trying to breed? Are you trying to grow them out to their maximum size? So I'll assume that you're going with big species and long term they can reach 18 to 20 inches. It's gonna take you probably seven to eight years to get to that size. You Long term, ultimately, I would say six to eight max, but to be comfortable, four. Four, okay, it's breeding. Yeah, talking about big adults, right? And we're talking small, you can put a ton in there. If you're talking about like 10 inch rays, eight inch rays, you can put like 20 of them in there. All right, let's see here. Rays need a scent bottom. No, they do not need it. Like Gay said, you guys, the reason I got into Monster Fish Keeping, my wife doesn't thank you, by the way. <laughs> I don't think many wives like us. Why? Because their husbands spend money on fish. The way I see it. Hey, it's it. better than spending money on something else, right? And now you're in the house. You're not leaving the house. See, they just have to know how to, which perspective to look at it from. Yup. Because, yeah, let's not get into it. <laughs> <laughs> create more enemies. <laughs> David, when will you be open to the public? Was what's was that your shop in Florida with your family? Now you're local here too. Hopefully soon, right? I mean, it's, it's it's a long process. It's not really on our hands. So hopefully soon, but we don't really have an answer for that yet. What's the smallest rays you can get? The smallest ray? Yeah. Like in terms of their species, like they don't get very big. Yeah. People tend to say um, hystrix are the smaller rays, reticulated rays are smaller species. But my opinion is, you know, you can always control feeding to limit the growth. But uh, yeah, hystrix and reticulated would be the straight. What about answer. what about the mini marbles? Um, mini marbles is still a Matoro. And I think it's hit and miss. You can get ones that stay small, and you can get ones that turn big, but you won't know until they're adult. So when you're buying it when it's young, I don't think anyone can truly guarantee it. How are you liking the weather in Copac? Miss Florida, yeah, I used to live there in the 80s. I rode my bicycle front where your shop is a ton of time, so I'm gonna talk highway. The, the water better there, isn't it? Um, Florida, it was just the, the weather was really nice. Oh, he needs you, bro. The weather was really nice. Yeah, we're still in the line. We can't, we can't stop. We're being entertained and entertaining. Oh, hey, buddy. Look who's here. Hey, hi. <laughs> it's nap time, nap time. I wish we all had nap time, huh? How do you think you think so clean and free of algae? Algae is the lights. You know, if you leave your lights on for a long period of time, you're gonna have algaes. But we do water changes every day, pretty much. <clears throat> what is Kevin eating? He's actually eating nuts. He likes nuts. I'll keep you secret to my wife. Yeah, dude. Sorry. Jeez. We already had a... We are talking about how many wives don't like Kevin and I because their husbands spend money. But in another way, they're actually staying home because they're buying something to stay home. Right? They could be buying other things or not be home. Michael... Henson, beautiful family ride. Oh, thanks, bro. The kid is all right. Wife is eh. 
Sorry. Hey, you learn how to work? Kids that are a handful, man. They take so much out of your time. When I come home, he just wants to play. So I don't, I don't even go to the gym anymore. It's like, how can you, you know, just leave your kid and it's tough. Jeremiah Williams, how would you filter a tank that size? Like, you really, like, I know Kevin likes to use the Ultimas and he used, like, UV lights and things like that, but the drum filter, in my opinion, is, like, the best thing ever because you don't have to do anything. It's just cleaning itself. Any idea when you're upgrading the power so you can really start assembling the monster tanks again? So I, uh, I actually just spoke to the electrician. He says he's gonna give me a call today. Hopefully, um, hopefully soon. You know, I know it takes probably three, four weeks for them to to get everything in, and then we have to run the wires everywhere. So it's a, it's gonna be a process. Gary Antoneda got a baby peacock bass from you guys, and he's doing great. Oh, that's awesome. Right to hear. Samuel Richard, I love your son. He's so cute and full of energy. Many blessings for him and your family. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. He's he's a great kid. I feel bad because a lot of times we're just working and he's just here. But that's probably why when I go home I try to spend as much time with him. When are you going to grow out your beard to your belly button? <laughs> probably when I have nothing left, then I'll just do it, you know. Steve Doig, my favorite channel. Oh, thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Wanna say hi, buddy. I'm from the Philippines. I used to watch all our videos on Facebook and YouTube. What do you mean used to? Blast your brother. Happy fishing. Happy fishing. He used to. He used, he used to. to. He doesn't watch you anymore, that means. Thank you, buddy. How's your dog doing? Much better. Much better. What size? making a monster pond look i want to go the biggest i can so i never have to do it again kevin wants to do two ponds put the fish we don't know yet we're trying to figure out we we got a lot going on we got a lot of plans not enough time in a day what are you eating bro you're making me hungry too much you like nuts in your mouth yeah yeah you said that so serious <laughs> that's what you wanted to hear right <laughs> i wanted to smile why should i smile it like salty nuts. Kill a bunny. Can you have manta rays? I don't think you can. I think I need to protect it. Maybe a, an aquarium. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It might be allowed. I think they are allowed. Manta rays? Manta rays? No. That with the spots. I'm talking about the ones with the spots. That's the eagle ray. Manta ray is that the one that you see in public aquariums? Oh. If you want a kanduru, I'll get it for you. Yeah, do a video. We'll post it up. No. Swim with it. No. David H. Rod, I'd love to see a little cystic aeropyma. God, be amazing. Yep. Yeah. That would definitely be a fifty to a hundred thousand dollar fish. If we get one of those, then Rod can build <laughs> as big of a pond as he wants. <laughs> Only good friends can share their salty nuts. That's right. Give me the salty so, nuts. You must have some good friends. Kevin always have the right answer. You Thank actually, you, you do. So, do. Very little. Minimal right. time. You don't have the, the right answer. When are you guys getting smaller at Warner's? Um, we got small silvers coming. Um, we have, we still have a couple of five inch silver arowanas and um, albino arowanas. Would you build out of concrete? That's what we want to do. We want to build out of concrete. I think Chase's uh, pond looks amazing. It was nice to see Kevin Post back on his channel. You should do more, bro. 
Maybe let's do a live on your channel after this. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just switch. <laughs> what I need really, if you guys can subscribe to his channel, and it forces him to do more videos there. I'm trying to get him to do more like explaining, and, you know, how to treat your fish. Dude, he, he taught me so much. Like he helped me a lot with a lot of knowledge on. Dude, Eddie's retarded. Can you slap him? Just a little bit. Him? He's almost done. Just give him 10 seconds. Look. Our wives cannot complain that we're not working. We made $17. See? If we sat here all day and answer the questions and how to save their fish, that's it. You want to go sit with Daddy? All right. Oh, I got a question for you guys. You got a question for us. We are working on setting up a real podcast. What do you think about it? One day of the week, what day should it be? And do you guys have the time to watch it? They have the time to sit here and watch two guys split their salty nuts. Okay. So yeah, we're trying to decide when's the best time to do it. What day and time? Friday. But no, Friday's Fisher Friday. We don't want to take over Friday. Saturday is a tough day. We want to enjoy our, no, our little freedom. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. See, mostly Friday. Monday is tough because we pack. So Monday, Tuesday, the best days for us would be Wednesday and Thursday. Our best day for us, right? Yeah. But in the evening, during the day, I'm going to fuck them up. <laughs> he kicked me. <laughs> Zebra Pleco. He said, I want a fish named after me in the new Monster Pond. Enjoy your nuts. <laughs> So uh, we gotta get a zebra pleco then. Right. <laughs> Can I have some of your salty nuts? This is always salty nuts. Oi has salty nuts? Oi. Oh, yeah. Oi, we're eating your salty nuts. That's good. A lot of nuts. Friday, but Friday, Friday is fishy Friday. We don't, don't want to take over fishy Friday. Hey. I want no. fishy Friday to be Friday. Cause I watch it too sometimes. Yeah, don't do Friday. I don't want to do Friday. Part Friday night, bro. We should be partying like rock stars. Leave the wives at home and let's go party. You don't miss your party days? No. Really? So here's the problem. If we do it on whatever day it is, but what time also? Because people work. People have families. Right? If we do it too late, it's no good. Do it too, too early, it's no good. I miss Lisa and Rod after Midnight Lives. Remember that, babe? Yeah. When we used to be fun? Big Rich will be coming for you. Yep. We can do it before or after his. You're very confident that you can take over Fish Fry. No, no, no. I didn't say take don't over. Don't. I said I don't want to have something going on at the same time. They have something going on out of respect. It's me going across the street from Ohio Fish Rescue and opening a rescue facility for fish. Oh, they coming in here and open a store across the street. I like Fish Friday. You got 450 people watching a live podcast of you guys, I mean, a live of you guys eating salty nuts. So, a podcast should do well. This is pretty much the same, right? With yeah. The podcast. When you're doing Paul's for Trish, at the end of the month, we're going to be there at the end of the month. Would you recommend keeping some Watora rays with a red tail catfish? Mm -hmm. It's tough. No, but the red tail can eat it. It depends on the size, whether it matches up. How big is Big Rich? I don't know. Do you know? How big is Big Rich? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to know. What, like height? I'm not gonna ask. Yeah. Do you guys ever make taco shell? We did. We did it once. What is that? 
Shenelo Marn Bellulis Mines Aka. Have you seen that puffer? That puffer that black with all the white spots in it. Fresh water? From India. Oh. Yes, we can get them. Why, right, you want one? <laughs> the hardest part is figuring out what people want. Because we bring it in, and then they don't want it. And then when we don't have it, they want it. So it's Look, tough. I swear, it's like guaranteed. We run out of a fish, people ask for it, right? But we'll sit here sometimes for a few months, a few of them. And then the moment they sell out, people ask for it. Like, but we had a really nice Zabrina a long time ago that was here forever. And we also had a really nice Serratus that was here forever. And we had people who wanted it. They snoozed and this and that. And after it's gone, they come back. Oh man, I really wanted it. Serrat, are you doing a live podcast or pre-recorded? We're gonna do a live, live, but then we're also gonna record it, right? Yeah. And we're also gonna do uh, a way where you can FaceTime us anywhere in the world to join the podcast. So it'll be interesting to see. I'll, actually, we can do a, a, a category where we can rate your fish tank. So you can show us your fish tank and we can rate it for you. Thursdays. KG Tropical stopped doing their live stream on Thursdays. You see, that concerns me. Why would somebody stop doing it if they were doing it? No, any, many streams. things can happen. Sean Chadwick said Friday's off the fishing Friday. I think that might be too late. Like we want we want to do other things too. Yeah. If I don't do but the dishes, see, I'll get beat up. It's different. Because I have the girls on a weekday, I have to help them with their homework and there's other things that I gotta do. Mm. So Friday, Saturday or Sunday, it's more more time for us in that regard. A frozen scallops a good food for green spotted puffers. We um, do shrimp mainly they'll here. Eat, they'll eat anything meaty. I don't think you have to go as far as scallops. <laughs> you, you must have given lobster. Yeah, <laughs> Robert Stolen said, what's Eddie's nickname? Pendejo. <laughs> you have to say it in, in Spanish. Say it. Pendejo. There you go. Mm. Say it, babe. Pendejo. There you go. Do another scavenger hunt. We did one before? I think what they meant was the coupon code. Oh. oh yeah. Okay. I want to do something where it's like, you guys see everything we have and you just make an offer. Done. Right? Like the, and then we can see if we can work it out on the offer or not. The option yeah. Say, so, hey, Rod, I like this fish. I'm willing to pay this for it. And we see if we can do it. Can we interview Eddie? Eddie doesn't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely communicate with him. <laughs> So you know how many days I come in and Kevin's like, no, no, no. And then I walk in and I just, I translate the wrong stuff just to see them go at it. See, we can do a, a, a part of the podcast where we do rate my tank and we rate people's tanks all over the world. Yeah. That would be so sweet. So Why are you making fun of them? So sweet. So sweet. Rod will say it back. <laughs> Love you, Rod. Love you, Kevin. Even if you won't say it back, I say it back, Scally. Love you too, man. We gotta love each other. Um, he doesn't say it, but he thinks about it, so he kind of means the same. I transmit it. Yep. You, I can feel the radiation. Yeah, through the anger in my voice. <laughs> the more angry I get, the more I mean it. <laughs> He looks, he makes, he makes like some weird eye contact, right? Like he makes faces and stuff. His expression. Any info on your other facility you have? Other facility? You have another facility you didn't tell me? Oh man. Oh, you what is it? You let it out of the bag. That's why I can't stay here past seven. <laughs> <laughs> Hello from Turkey. Ismail, has, do you have freshwater fish in Turkey there? But they do actually. Yeah, I time? think they do. Ship it to us. Oh, I mean, they have a lot of farms. They they do farming oh. in Turkey. I that think so. one, that farm was not a pretty one. It's one more, I need to know if it's another one. It might be in that top basket where the Oscars are. You guys should build a fish farm in Florida. 
breed and raise your own fish. I mean, that I always told Fei Jai that. You know, my stop crying, bro. It's okay. My plan was here, really. Once this place is all done, I'll convince him, hey, let's open a fish farm. And I'll keep going back to Florida when it's cold. But then he's going to want to come too. And... There's only so much that we can we need, You know what we need? No, we let's... need partners. Yes, I was going to say that. We need uh, more partners. We need partners to run different divisions of these businesses that we want to develop because we can't do it all ourselves. No, we're, we're getting burned so out. Our ears bit. are always open. Guys, so let's partner up. Can help. Let's open an animal kingdom for fish. Let's go. Cystic Cory. I've never seen that. Do a farm near Tampa. That's what seagrass is. Mark Price, how do I partner up with you? Mark, number one. If the price is right. <laughs> I, sorry, I could You sound I like a stripper. I couldn't keep it. You sound like a stripper. If the price is right. It was in his name, so I just had to say it. <laughs> oh, I thought this was you for a second. Uh-huh. Close. Stingray Biogenetics Canada. <laughs> but on the series, though, like, we are open to discussion. We open to different things. We, It's a lot for us to do it, just the two of us. Like, we, we know that. You know, so it takes us a lot longer. Uh, partnering up us also is hard because you got to find the right person. Like him and I work well together because we actually listen to each other. You know, that we, sometimes we bump heads, but in the long run, we're doing it for benefit both of us. You know, I care for him. He care for me. You care for me? Yeah, you, you said it all. Okay. All right. Just want to make sure. So, yeah, it, it comes down to finding the right person. It takes a team to build a dream. Yes. That's not what you said, but I got it. It does. And, you know, Lisa is, is occupied with Ryan, a new baby, or he's occupied. So it's a lot on our plate that, you know, we if we could get this place done and open new facilities and we can travel the world and, you know, build our own TV channel and film everything. Dude, there's so much to see. Like, I want to take him to Brazil. That one of the best experiences I had was going to that tribe in the middle of nowhere. They never seen electricity, they never seen a car, they never seen a TV, they never seen anything. And they are so happy, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, just all loose, they don't care. You know, just living life. <clears throat> Do you guys ever get into a serious argument? No, we're very laid back. Yeah. Right? I, I, I we'll, we'll debate. Look, I wouldn't say it's an argument. He's a lot older than me, so I respect the elderly. Elderly, <laughs> respect the elderly. Did Thank I say you. it wrong? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a little bit uh, no, I'm just on the kidding, extreme. Bro. I'm just kidding. He's like my big brother. Like honestly, he's, you know, he helped us a lot. He's like honestly, I feel like we're family. I care about his kids like my kids. Like you told me the other day, Kimberly was getting bullied in school, and that pissed me off. More than, more than anything. Probably more than it pissed me off. Yeah, I was like, let's go there, let's go there. I'm like, just let it go, they'll sort it out. Partnership for franchise. Franchise was one of the things we discussed a long time ago about doing in different states. It's just, it needs time, man. It needs like, we just need people to to partner up with us and then they can look into that part of the business because we're so busy. Like, there's so much time in the day and, you know, if we don't overwatch these animals and a lot can go wrong. It takes a lot to know. Like, honestly, we can tell if there's something's wrong with a fish just by looking at it, you know? Like, he feeds the fish every day. Why? We could let Eddie fish. Eddie, I mean, feed. Eddie doesn't know how to feed. You know what I mean? I so, think, a, lot of, a lot of work that we do is to make sure that you guys get the final fish in your hands just like how we would wish it would be on our hands you know it's easy to pay somebody to do it but it's not going to be the same thing i think the number one thing that i would want i think you would agree is if we can find somebody to run this place back here then that frees us up well overall all these other things 
even like emails and phone calls, there's so many emails that come in. I, I had a guy the other day get pissed off because I didn't reply uh, an Instagram message. You know how many messages I get a day? You know, and, and it's like, I love it, it's great, but I can't, I, I don't have time to see it all. I'll be on the phone all day. I sent you a picture yesterday, did you see yeah, how many emails we had? Not emails, just emails from the website. How many was it? 1,400. 1,400. And that was in three days. You know, and some of them are just BS, you know, like, oh, whatever. But some of them are good, but you don't, it's hard to filter all of them. And if you pay somebody to do it, they're still going to have to ask you how to answer. So it's really difficult to, to, to get everybody replied. Kevin, did you keep the feather tail stingrays? I wanna, I wanted to look, I know, I wanted to look like. To know what it looked like. No, we actually sold it. There was a, there was a guy in Europe that really, really liked them and he had a good spot for them. You're both older than me. Rod can be my brother. Kevin can be my grandpa. <laughs> I don't know if you started in a good foot, good foot with him. Well, you're the one calling me elderly, though. That, that's elderly. Bro, you act like you're old. You're only 50? 50? Not yet. 50's halfway. Halfway, but... It's more than halfway. But I think if you were more active... Actually, no. I'm actually not. I'm actually wrong. He's actually have a lot of uh, uh, stamina for somebody that never worked out, never did cardio. I'm, I, I'm not gonna lie, yeah, I'm impressed like, with, especially. You know brown, cutting yeah, he's not, he's not like a lazy person, like, oh, I'm tired. I mean, he complains here and there that his back hurts, but. I go home, I drop on that couch, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get up. <laughs> Kevin, did the Stingray survive? Who stops eating? Yes, it did. The one that I caged up, yes, it's doing great. Kevin. Well, that video was from like four months ago. Well, it's probably your last video. Yeah. Yeah, somebody's saying, look at Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is, is almost 40. And look at the guy. He's, he's like a robot. What's something you guys are into that doesn't involve fish? I like working out. It's like my peace time, lifting weights. You? I like cooking, cooking and eating. <laughs> <laughs> I like eating bad. I used, I used to be a chef. I worked in over 40 restaurants since I was like 15, 16. I don't enjoy that. I, I was actually, I was telling Lisa today, I'm like, if I had pursued that career of, of culinary, would I have enjoyed it? I don't think I did because you're never off. On weekends, holidays, you're never off. We can make a cooking channel. No. Well, I, we could. Well, we could actually. The protein pancakes she did? Yeah, I can actually teach people how to eat healthy and, and, you know, live a good life. But what I really wanted to do is travel and see different people, see different parts of the world, see different cultures, you know. And then when you die, you're like, yeah, I've seen it all. Okay. So when we start traveling for predatory bins, mm -hmm. we start another channel for cooking and food and you know lifestyles and we're filming all at the same time there you go. look even because we got to eat too right so when we're well, eating we're filming when we that. go to brazil now uh -huh. one of the rivers that we're going to there's no kitchen so we have to catch cook and survive now, there's no kitchen there's it's no already, kitchen. it already sounds like it's going to be no toilet <laughs> do you need a toilet yeah. The nature is your toilet. Nature, my friend. No, I don't need a viper coming up my butt. <laughs> I, I You'll see be those, old, going up your those butt. old National Geographic videos of the natives where they have their, their house on stilts. And then you see something drop from the middle of the house and all the fish they're eating it is somebody taking a dump. Scally said, when did you leave Brazil? When I was uh, 14 turning 15. We almost got kidnapped. <laughs> That's one of the main reasons why my family left. Predatory fins eat. There you go. I would look like Ronaldo if you paid me two hundred million a year. Right. Well, yeah, I, yeah. I I can make him look like Ronaldo for that money. 
can we make a deal? Rod and Kevin don't get a haircut until the shop opens. Oh, boy. No, that would be nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I actually was going to suggest if we did the Christmas toy run this year to, to dye the, the little ones here blonde or, or white like a Santa to see how we would look. No, I have That's more gray hair than him. Yeah. I have a lot more gray hair than him. So we never figure out what day would be the best day for the, <laughs> the live. Everybody says Friday, but Friday is fishy Friday. We, we don't want to do that. But you, for you, is better on the weekend then, because the girls. So Saturday would be better for you. Afternoon. Friday or Saturday. But I think. Um, it seemed, I got the vibe that Saturday might not work for John. Oh, you spoke to him? No, well, we were talking about that day. That was the vibe I was getting. He, he liked Thursday. He liked Wednesday, Thursday. He does like events in South Park on the weekends. Oh, that's right. He, he might have gigs. Mm. Gigs, yeah. Saturday around 8 p.m. is perfect. Sue Ann. I mean... It is perfect, but like for for the older for generation, you know, majority of people like I used to enjoy my Saturday nights. Well, you used to, so yeah. we can look at the demographics. Call it and Wet Wednesday. Some people might click on that, oh, think it's something, something else. else. Mark said, "You guys figure out. Seem to know it all. I don't know. I don't know. He he knows it all. I try, but it it's too hard to figure everything out." Make a community pool. Well, that's a good idea. And then it's tough because who are you going to try to please? The people in the U.S., the people in you know Europe, the people in Asia. It's it's, it's hard. It's that is, yeah. We used to do the midnight lives, and then people were just getting up in the morning over the you know <clears throat> they're just going home. This guy, I can't say his name. Dhruv Varani. You two are legends. Learn a lot. So many things for you guys. Keep up love and light. Thank you, brother. Can we local pickup orders? Yes. You can just choose that local pickup on the website. We'll be selling fish tanks. This guy right here, believe it or not, with that beautiful round head, he can make tanks. He made some big tanks before. So it's, it's one of the plans that we want to do. It's build, build tanks. And there's a lot. There's a, a lot. lot that I we need can to. Do. I need to. A lot. How do you call when you try to save something from getting old? Preserve. Preserve. Yes, yes, yes. I need to preserve this man. <laughs> okay, so we can enjoy it for longer. And use all of his knowledge. Yes. Sup, Creech and Chong of the Sea World. Cheech and Chong. It says Creech. Yeah, it's supposed to be Cheech. Yeah. Oh. Uh, are our best friend much better now the dog tank is actually yes doing a lot better I said it early on this live that he had a seizure recent I mean a few weeks back where he was just walking and just lost it and um, just hitting himself everywhere and that day I really thought was that's the end of it for me um, but I got him on a different medicine It's the last medicine I'm trying so far he's been acting much better so let's see if he'll improve um, I hate to put him down but I don't like to see him suffer any everybody sees him suffering it's his stuff you know him the kids even eddie it's it's not a good uh, uh it's not a good thing when he goes through his seizures what type of videos would you guys want to see more that's a good question right i thought you asked that before no i, I said what kind of fish people want right yeah what kind of fish oh, okay well, I heard no i said fish Cause sometimes we're so busy, we don't we don't think about like what videos like you know, we just something that's normal for us might be something interesting for you guys. Vinny, nine nine nine. Hey babe, I got your lunch today from Vinny, on the house. What's up guys? How the two feather tails doing? We actually sold them to Europe. What fish do you want? What are illegal snakeheads? I would like a platinum snakehead. Remember that platinum that we saw in Thailand? Mm -hmm. It was about three foot, three foot, and yeah. it was like two hundred dollars. 
Yeah. But that's, I've never liked snake heads. I mean, there was only one or two, obviously, everyone likes the Barca. And there was this other small one that had like these orange rings on it, really colorful. Uh, snake heads, that's the only ones I like. But, uh, I mean, of course, it'd be nice to have an arowana. <clears throat> yeah, he's your one, I know. I want to see more showing of the fish and updates of them, international videos, vlogs. So just a mixture of stuff. You guys should get Lucistic Corridoras. Is that a way that people can order something on pre-order? Just go to the website and pay, and then we see the order come in, and we go look for that fish? That would be it, interesting, too. Yeah, it, 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 it's tough, though, because we're also trying to get them the best price. So if we're not ordering something in bulk, then, you know, to fill an order for just one or two people and then sit with the rest is kind of tough, too. Are you ready for Chinese New Year's? Nam Lo is asking. Uh, yeah. Got the rabbit, right? Is it? Yep. Saturday. Do you do a celebration? Do you, do you celebrate? No, not so much. You don't do fireworks and stuff? No. no. Oh. The dragon. You can go to Chinatown and watch it. It's Matthew Morgan it said, go black. God bless like you World for War doing the go funds for the for the person. Oh Nestor. It was just the right thing to do. Hopefully, uh hopefully we can get him some new fish in the future. Can you source a specific fish for a certain size? It's tough. It really is tough because sometimes it's not available. The size is not available. That's why we don't like to take money up front because it's not always guaranteed. When are your new shipments coming? See? I'm working on it. It's tough. It's a, sometimes we plan to, to split them up and then things happen and everything gets delayed and everything comes at the same time. It's, it's, a, it's crazy. Big Nasty, I bought over 200 fish from you. Big Nasty? From Atlanta. What's up, Big Nasty? <laughs> Are you Big Nasty? No. You're Little Nasty. I'm a little cute. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic Fish Friday. Friday's a tough day. I think it would have to be on a Thursday or on a Saturday. Okay, so let's say if we did it on like a Friday afternoon, 3 p.m., does that work for people? Does Friday think... afternoon? Mm -hmm. Isn't that when Fish Friday is? But he's like later in the evening, isn't he? Like 6 or 7 or 8 even? I don't know. Because that's, a, that's for us business-wise, that's a, it's a good day because it's slower. Uh, we got everything done for the day. Right? PB Aquatics. Yeah, I think it's... Fridays would be a good day because it's the end of the week and we just want to go home. So just unwind a, a little yeah. bit and that's it. TV Aquatics, I just want to say thank you to you both. You guys have inspired me to go all in and chase my dreams and start a small PF fins, predatory fins. That's awesome. Where are you located? Kevin, what would be a perfect balance for breeding race? Male to female ratio. Also, have you tried breeding albino Leos? Stingray UK, you got to make sure you subscribe because you got all the answers there. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm working on breeding albino leos. Like I said, the move disrupted a lot of my breeding programs. So, uh, and then in terms of ratio, I think one to two or one to three is good, but it's always good to have extra males. And I, I think a lot of uh, hobbyist breeders would have experienced this by now. Yeah. Um, that something happens to the male, then their whole breeding paragraph takes a dump, you know? And I understand people don't want to waste their space in their tank to have those extra males, but you always got to be prepared. You know, this is fish. Anything can happen. Something can just, just you know, go on you. And then Anything you won't, can happen you, even to us. And you won't have a backup. You know, I have a lot of males. I keep a lot of males, believe it or not. So it, it's a good thing. And sometimes... Do you hear what he said? He just said, I have a lot of males. So the husband has seven, living a secret life. Yeah. He just said, I have a lot of males. Yeah, in the mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> she was coming here to beat you, but. Yeah, the mailbox is the floating cage in my tank. <laughs> Mustache and food have you made? It would be funny. 
God, that would be a good mix, no? Yeah. Wait, somebody uh, sent us some diaper money over here. Stingrays. Hey guys, I got a rain. It's nine months old and it stops and it stopped eating three weeks ago. I did a cage raise, temperature do warm it, water salted, nothing brings it back to food. I need Kevin's advice. Oof, let's see. Can Kevin save this stingray? Well, it's hard to diagnose just based on that bit of information. There's a lot more details I would need to like to help you try to figure out that problem. You know, um, it can come down to your water parameters, uh, whether you changed water recently, whether you cleaned your filter, whether you overfed your tank, whether you've added new tank mates. It can go in a number of different directions. Um, so if you really want to save that ray, send him an email with some more information. Stingraybiology at gmail.com. Are you willing to help? Well, he gave us 10 bucks, so yeah, I'll help. <laughs> So, we'll go that way. Thank God for Fish Thursday. Oh, that's a, that's a name. Thank God for Fish Thursday. What, what's a fish you want that you never had before? A mermaid. What about you? A mermaid? Yeah. I, would oil allow you to keep a mermaid? Probably not. Can I have a mermaid? I have a mermaid. If it's fully clothed. I want a mermaid. I'll send an email tomorrow. Thanks. No problem. I'll make sure that he will look into it. I'll look at it. But answer all those questions that I just said so that I can better analyze it and we don't have to go through it again. Or maybe send a video of the raid too, no? You think that might help? That may help. But usually something changed in the setup that would cause that. Can we wholesale to other countries? Yeah, we can. So what the stores anywhere in the world they're watching this what do they need to do to um get a, a wholesale list from us and an order in they need to call you no no no, no, no. <laughs> you need to call this man email this man yeah you for your email will be the best way if you have a store anywhere in the world in the world and what will happen is he'll make promises to you guys that i have to keep that's what's gonna happen that's how it works <laughs> Shana Duba, it's been a year free of cancer for me. Oh, that's awesome. God bless you, man. Hello from Wichita, Kansas. Is that how you say it? Wichita? Wichita. <clears throat> Why are under gravel filters used anymore? Why, why aren't? Yeah, probably because they collect a lot of crap. Um... Actually, believe it or not, we, we went to a store not too long ago that still had on the gravel filters. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's just a different type of maintenance. You always have to vacuum your gravel to keep it clean, but it's basically using your gravel bed as the bio bed. So does it work? Yes. Uh, it's just depending how you like to clean your tanks. A lot of people use canister filters now and, and uh, you know, wet dry filters and and, and sumps and stuff that make it a little bit easier to clean, but they all work the same. Okay, what's your preferable type of filtration? It really depends what I'm keeping and how I want to maintain it. You fed everybody already? Damn, always doing all the work when we're doing nothing here. Uh, we should take that 45 bucks and give it to her. Well, heck, just. Yeah, oh, sushi sounds really good. Oh, sushi, you need like triple that. <laughs> I know, right? It's like one roll. <laughs> that's, that's your appetizer right there. Hey guys, big fan from UK. I wish I lived near you because I would round up every day. Man, I would love to go to UK. I definitely want to start traveling more once we uh, have this place more established. What? It's like set up another channel that they can watch us 11 hours a day. <laughs> oh, man. There might be a couple hours there of stuff that you don't want to see. 24 hour live stream camera for the massive tank. Yeah, that, I definitely want to do that once we have the tank going. Hey, what do you think about orders over 300, 500 shipping should be free? So the problem with that is UPS charged a lot of money on freight 
the bigger the order, the bigger the box, the more money on the freight. So in the long run, we're actually losing a lot of money. You know, it's better not to even do the sale. I, I really wish we could do it, but we're not jacking up the prices to the point where we could just say, hey, here you go, free shipping. Um, are we ready? Do we have enough to pay? I mean, I have a lot to Yeah, let's we have enough wait. to pay. Oh. I, I was waiting to hear from the insurance lady. I did the other one. You should come for, to South Africa. <laughs> Tristan, that's definitely a plan. Um, we we wanted to travel oh, yes, every country that we import fish from. Uh, South Africa. You've been to South Africa? No. But didn't our, our export, exporter say it was very dangerous like, to go to the fish places? So South Africa has very dangerous parts, too. Yeah, but he was saying like there's areas where they collect the fish. They're like, they kill each other and yeah, stuff. Yeah, all of that for sure. Congo. You got any more rescues coming in? No, not really. Uh, Kobe, are you using UPS or local deliveries? UPS. Mark, can I keep Sabrina Pikes in Paris? Yeah, yeah, we had two here for the longest times, and we got a huge mail. Are you getting to Mrs. Peacock Bass anytime soon? Um, we're working on it. I think uh, there's a lot of different species of peacocks that we want to bring in. So hopefully, uh, I think beginning of February, we'll start getting our shipments in. Seth, thank you, thankful for Fish Thursday. We'll see, maybe Thursday, maybe Friday earlier or Saturday, we'll try to come up with the right, with the right time. But I think we gotta help Oi get fish, all the fish fed here, because today's uh, Thursday, so we already shipped all the fish for the week. And, um, now we feed them really nice today, tomorrow, Saturday, lightly on what? No, go ahead, Sunday. Making fun of me? No. Oh. And then uh, get them ready for shipping. Want a report card? Here's a report card. It's not test yeah. free. Okay. When do shipments coming from China again? Oh, did we do we have time to put that China shipment in or no? Huh? Do we have time to put the China no, shipment in? No, we have in? to figure it out. We're trying to figure out what to bring in before Chinese New Year's. Hey, Bella. This right here is my other wife. Oh, my baby. Bella has been with me for the last 16, almost 17 years. See, she doesn't have a really good eyesight, but she's what still kicking DNR really good. Mean? Did not receive. Did not receive. And then we have sugar. Sugar's a little heavier. It was harder to lift her up. Sugar is another one that love of my life right here. Right, baby? Sugar was is really amazing. Uh, when Tank has seizures, she actually goes over to try to help him out. Good girl. Ricky. I have learned a lot of things watching your videos, helped out a lot. That's awesome. Thank you, Ricky. But I'm going to get going. Ah, damn, sitting down for that long. Oof, we're getting old. Ah, let me leave Faye Jai there. I will show you guys a couple more fish. Just tell me what you want to see. And then we're going to finish this live so we can oh, get back to work. So let's go. Last, next 10 fish, what would you like to see? And I'll show it to you guys. Africa Iwana. Okay, let's go see Africa Iwana. This is like a digital storefront, pretty much. Africa Iwanas we have right here. We have a school of them. They're all eating blood worms. As soon as you put the blood worms in the tank, they'll come right up. Let's see. Tigerfish. I think tigerfish, we have Vitatas. How many of them? We only have a few. One, two, three, four. Four tigerfish. 
left. Hey, hey, look. No good. That's good. No, no good. You kill you. That's a buffer right there. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> no, no, no. That's that's uh. I told him that that means hey, how are you? And now he says it all the time. Bullfish. Uh, we only have the little, the little. Uh, these guys are nice. Huh? Oh, okay. The wolffish. We only have. I love this one. Look at the colors. You only have these little guys. The red, the red fin. It's okay, wait. We're gonna help you, okay? Give me one second. Big puffer fish. Puffer fish right now, we only have, let me see. All oh, the bigger ones, uh, these guys. The hump heads. They can actually live in groups. There's one back there. We got a couple, if you want to see plecos, a couple of L600s, some para plecos, some snowballs. We got their uh, giant red tail gourami, some of these guys. I think that's a, a good amount of fish. Uh, let's see, the last one will be the big L24. Big L24. I told Kevin we should just keep them and breed them. This guy's huge. And then this one. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go. I gotta help him feed all the fish so we can get them healthy for you. We'll ship out Monday. Look, Tank is actually. He took over Sugar's bed. He took over your bed, baby? Huh? That bed is too small for you, bro. But hopefully he won't have a seizure for a long time with the new medicine. Hey, you want to say bye? Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Why are you making that face, bro? I'm trying to get my attention, aren't you? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will keep updated, keep you guys updated on the podcast, and uh, hopefully we can uh, keep doing it every week. All right? If you guys need anything that we haven't talked about on this live, feel free to send us an email, livefishofredtoyfans.com, and um, I'll get, get a hold of you. Thank you. Have a great day. Yeah.